Hello everybody, this is Monty and Noga Gaming, and today we are on Open RCT 2 again. And today we are playing a different map, and it is done by Ling, and it is a custom scenario that he made, and I just have to say, it looks wonderful at the moment. So, our goal for today, for Lavender Bay, a small marshy island in a quiet bay in the Pacific Northwest is up for sale by the state. Prove you can find some value in it. But first, you're going to need to clear out a bit first. Ooh, I had misspoke. But you're going to need to clear it out a bit first. Your objective, to repay your loan and achieve a park value of at least 100000 That is not very difficult. What is the loan looking like? 20000 that's not bad at all. So, without further ado, let's get into this thing. It has quite a substantial amount of rides available at the forefront, which is going to make this extremely easy. So, here's that. I love what Ling did with all the trees and whatnot. There's a, a bunch of custom trees and such, and it just adds a very nice touch. Like all this grass here, and especially the dead grass, is so beautiful. And there's a bunch of different and new um, tiles and such that he used to create this. I think it's beautiful. This should be a fairly simple map. Because uh, we play your loan, depending on how much the loan is, it's not a super difficult one anyway. So this might be a shorter video, but that's fine. I'm pretty much going to do the same method I do for the rest of my list plays on this game, just spam advertisements until I make money. Can I do advertisements? That's a question. Yep, I sure can. Now, this is a pay to enter, so that's not necessarily that difficult. Uh, what is the cash situation looking like? 60? 50. So the max I could charge them is 50, but the max I'll charge them is 37. Why 37? So they have about $13 just to have fun with. Because there, there is a cash machine, so I can definitely go up to 50 now. I'm going to do 47. Because I like that number. Um, I hate to do this, but there. Now I can see what I'm doing. Just gonna pretty much spam rides until, yeah, make a profit. Well, most of my profit's gonna come from the park entry. But guests aren't going to pay that if there aren't rides available. Yellow? There we go. And come this way. For some of this does give money back. I'm not destroying the rest of it because it's too pretty to do that. Um, can I add that one for music? Okay, let's see. What do we have for Christmas? Here we go. Got about ten grand at my disposal. How much can I go up to? Thirty-five. I don't need that many. That much, I should say. 
Um. Colors. Mm, no. Umber. I'm gonna use Umber and then that deep blue. This, I can't remember which language it is, but this means fire dragon, and I think, um, I'm not gonna say anything because I forget, and I don't want to sound stupid, so, yeah. So, the start, the start is based off of, uh, Wodan Temper Coaster. I'm gonna go ahead and test it because I can do that and open RCT2, which I just think is a phenomenal addition. Go back up here. Can I cut? That's kind of a road ball. This way. I'm gonna add this. Uh, something just disappeared. Something is in the way. Let's see. Lower it over here. If you can't tell, I love making GCIs. They're one of my favorites to do. Especially with how good the wooden posters in this game look. That seal, I guess, is very annoying. And there we go. I don't... I'm not sure I need that many blood weights. But there. I'm gonna change the colors. Make this one purple. This one... that purple. And this one... red. Pretty. Uh, I already missed that the start of that, so I'll get back to it in a little bit. Okay. I'll catch the second train. That's what we'll do. Because it will take a while for the second train to go on through, I think. Oh, 
I think that's a very pretty GCI. Although, I don't have the GCI tools, but that's fine. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Whee! Whee! Up. You won't get very much air time over that, but that's fine. Go get some good one there. And there. Oh, I think that Rose Bowl looks so pretty. Especially from that angle. I think that the glitchy water you're seeing is just because this is a develop development version of OpenRCT2. So, it's kind of glitchy, but that's fine. There we go. Gonna charge three bucks for that. And what else? Yeah, that's it for now. Gonna use the left on this. No, not this. And then this. Go ahead and get some money. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Move that cash machine. For that. I'm gonna add this. Nope. One more. So far, I have to say, I'm loving this scenario. It's quite easy, but, you know, it doesn't have to be hard. It just has to be enjoyable, and I am very much enjoying how pretty it is. It's wonderful. Laying up. If you're listening to me, you should definitely do more of these scenarios, because they are gorgeous. And this is coming from, I guess, one of the most prolific uh, scenario makers out there. Definitely do more. This is wonderful. And I'll play them, too. Beach view. I uh, make this ew. That's not a okay. Whatever. Park value is getting up there. I just jumped a whole bunch. And it's going up too. I appreciate that. Makes me know what I'm doing here is working. All right. Time to add another coaster somewhere. Uh... Oh, one of the things that was mentioned is that the style of this scenario is that all the rides are pretty old. There's some newer ones that come later, but you see all of these are pretty much wood and stuff that came from the 70s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. And I, it makes sense to me. No shops, uh, no transport, and there we go. See, like, you have the side friction, which was popular in what? The 19, early 1900s? It makes sense for a scenario goal. It's kind of like 
Good one part, but not not too hard. Oh hey look, I can finally make this a GCI, but am I gonna do that? No. Leap with a yes. Cheeky name. I love it. Uh there we go. That kind of looks okay. I'm gonna test it to make sure it doesn't crash, because I'm pretty sure this can. Go. Well, that was stupid. Hopefully, that will add maybe a third train. Yes. We'll make them yellow. There we go, we have another Woody. We're down to 9,000 and low, so it's not gonna be very long from now that we win this scenario. And we are above the park value minimum, so yeah. I think one more roller coaster should do it. I'll add it over here somewhere. Um, which one? Hmm. I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna stack them on each other, too. Avalanche. Rest in peace, Avalanche King's Dominion. It's now called Reptilian. Actually, that's not a bad thing. I think the new paint job looks wonderful, and it honestly badly needed that revamp. Out of money. Terrible. The perk about this scenario is it does not have a time limit. So you can take all the time you want. That's gonna crash immediately. I hate this so far. Almost done. Probably change this brake over here to uh, block brake so I'll have more trains on this. 
Come on. Come on, money. What you doing? There we go. Back on the crash, probably. Not if I do this. <laughs> Another sucky on white photo. Alright. This one's done again. Can I do a pass before I start test testing? Touching. Four, three. Ah, oh, that's one. That's right. It would never be a block section like this, but I don't know. This game is kind of weird sometimes. I look with match. Never play. <laughs> It'd be funny if they started at the same time. Nope. Down the hill we go. And a loop. Pardon the glitchiness. Again, developer mode. Development mode. Develop? Develop. I don't know. One of them. I took a long train for a long time for that train to go with the woody. <laughs> Block quick the way. Ah. Yeah, I hate to see it. Come on. Go. This is probably worth it. This would be a very boring ride in real life. But I will. So I'm gonna casually guess that this is set to um, cold and wet because it's rained a lot. It just generally makes the scenario more difficult, but this hasn't been much of a challenge for me. That's just because. I play scenarios so much I know what to do for them. I'm gonna add a couple of pinches and whatnot and just make it look a little nicer. Oh, that's so low. That's so low. What? Oh well. 4,000 left. It's not gonna take very long. Especially if it rains more. We'll do that. Or not. Come on. Come on. Get there. Two thousand more. And then we are good to go on this scenario. A pretty quick one. We'll definitely only take one video. Gonna add a oop. one last thousand to go, and then I have succeeded this goal. And this rain is gonna get me there. Here we go. Hooray! I have won! And it has not given me an option to name the park, so I guess I didn't win. But yeah. I have to say, 
this is quite a fun little gym of a park. And it didn't take much to get all of this. So this is the beta version of this scenario. So Wing, if you want to make it just slightly harder, I would start out with less starting cash. Like say maybe five to ten grand. But all that really is gonna do is just make it a little bit of a more of a hassle at the beginning of the game. But once you get a footing like I have, that's so easy. But that's fine. Easiness is a good thing. Ooh, a cute little waterfall. I didn't even notice. Oh that's beautiful. I have to say once again that this is such a beautiful scenario. That, that, okay, that was odd. This is a very well designed scenario, I have to say. Everything works as it should. And, you know, even if I didn't have all this here, I could just look at the outskirts all day long. That's so pretty. Good job, Bling, and keep it up. Alright, everyone. This has been uh, Lavender Bay, which was done by Lee. And, um, yeah, it's a great scenario. You should definitely go ahead and down it, download it. I think I'll put it in the comment section. And, yeah, you'll be good to go. A wonderful little scenario, and... Not at all a hard task, but definitely a fun one. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Nargi Gaming, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.